Welcome to Naris Technologies, I am Banga Raju and this is a continuation series of our ASP.NET videos. Uh, in this video, uh, let me demonstrate you how to submit the pages or how to submit a page to different pages uh, based on a success or failure. In the sense, in the previous video, I was just uh, submitting the data to a particular page. What is that? We have created a page called as login form. cross page post back and in this if the user is valid if the user is valid if the user is valid we are jumping to a page called as login form cross page post back in this we are submitting the data we are submitting to a data to a page called as validate.aspx and in validate.aspx, we are checking whether the user ID password are going to be valid or not. If it is valid, we are just giving the output as valid user. Otherwise, we are giving the output as invalid user. Fine. So, this is submitting the data to validate.aspx. Okay. Means from this web form, we are jumping to another web form called validate.aspx. Okay. This is the web form one way to jump into this. Now, I have a different requirement. I want to create a called as login.aspx, a web form called as login.aspx. And here, if the user is valid, I want to launch another web page called as success.aspx. And if the user is invalid, I want to jump to failure.aspx. This is the requirement. Means not the same uh, web form or the web page I want to launch. In this case, from here I am launching this. But in this case, if it is success, I want this web form to launch. And if it is failure, I want this web form to launch. So, let us see how to perform this one. So, I want three web forms now, login.aspx, success.aspx, failure.aspx. Let us add all the three in our project. Login, success, failure. First, let us come to login form and I wanted to design a table. I want to design a login form and to design this particular login form, uh, as per our discussion earlier, we are going to create a table and already in our previous examples, we have done it. Let me copy from there. The table design, I am just copying from there, table and it is the same login form what we are creating in all the previous examples, no difference. But do not forget, it will copy this on click also, delete this. Why? Because the event handlers are not available to us right now. Fine. So, this is the login form what we have. Now, whenever I click on the login button, whenever I click on the login button, what has to happen is, it has to verify, it has to verify whether the user is a valid user or not. If the user is a valid user, if the user is a valid user, it has to take me to a page called success.aspx. If the user is invalid user, it has to take me to failure.aspx. And in this case, you will have a doubt, are we doing a cross page post back or a post back? Actually, first we need to do a post back, means the data should be submitted to the same page and after submitting to the same page, first we need to verify whether the user is valid or not and from there we need to redirect him to the target page. From there we need to redirect him to the 
target page. Okay. So, are we not doing a cross page postback? No, not cross page postback. If you are a cross page postback again, again the same process we require to come to validate.aspx and after coming to validate.aspx, we need to check valid user or not. If it is valid user, again from there I need to send you to success.aspx, invalid user, failure.aspx. So, that is a lengthy process. Without that, here only we will check it off whether the user is valid or not. If the user is valid, I will launch this page. If the user is invalid, I will launch this page. Come on. Go to login. First, if not is postback. If it is not a postback, txt name dot focus. This first request comes, set the focus into the name text box. And here it is a process of clearing txt name dot text is equals to txt password dot text equals to empty string txt name dot focus. Now let us write the logic. If txt name dot text is equals to admin and txt password dot text is equals to admin. If both these two are admin admin. What I want to do? I want to go to a page. Which page? Success dot aspx or otherwise failure dot aspx. Okay. Now, the success and failure page are not yet designed, we will design them, but how can I go from one page to another page? If at all you want to go from one page to another page, we have uh, two different options here. One, we can transfer the control from this current page, from the current page login, from here to success page or failure page using two different approaches. First approach, server dot transfer, server dot transfer and this server dot transfer is asking the path of the page where the control has to be transferred, path of the file where the control has to be transferred or the path of the page where the control has to be transferred. And here let me give it up, what is that? Success dot ASPX, I want to go to success.aspx and remember success.aspx is present in the same folder, same drive, everything is in the same, okay, success.aspx, else, you are coming to else means it is invalid user. If it is invalid user, what we are planning? We are planning to go to a page called as failure.aspx. So, what to do? I can say server.transfer and I can specify the name of the page where I want to transfer, failure.aspx. But I was telling you there are two options to transfer, one is server.transfer and the second way how you can transfer is in the place of server.transfer, you can also write response.redirect, like this also we can do. One is server.transfer, second one is response.redirect. What is the difference? We will analyze all the differences between the server.transfer and response.redirect. Meanwhile, let us test it. Meanwhile, come to success page. For the time being, I am not writing any code here, simple h1 style equals to background hyphen color yellow color red and here I am writing what is this text hyphen align center this is success speech simple message, this is success page. Let me copy the same, let us go to the second page that is failure.aspx, pasting it over there, this is 
failure page. Fine, come on, let us come to login. Admin, admin. Click on the login button and you see you went to success page. And wrong password, click on the login button, you go to failure page. So, like this, I can transfer the control into different pages also based on the conditions. But here, are we performing a postback or a cross page postback means first it is a postback. First it is a postback, we are submitting the data back to the same page. And from there, we are again transferring the control to another page. So, which page? Not the same page we are transferring. If valid user, success.aspx. If invalid user, failure.aspx. Okay. Now, you will have a question. What is the difference between response.redirect and server.transfer? Not like one. There are a number of differences that we have between response.redirect and server.transfer. We will try to understand about the differences in the next video. The difference between server.transfer and response.redirect. But you have two options for transferring the control from one page to another page. So, main differences we will talk in the next video. Thank you for watching the video. For more videos, please subscribe to your YouTube channel, Naresh IT.